It's exciting through Mak Amham to bring Ohlone foods to the public here. Every other culture is represented in their cuisine here in the Bay Area. It's important that Ohlone foods are also in that space. By having Ohlone foods here today, it makes it inarguable that we are here. There's a contemporary phrase that we have, which is Makwarap Hashe Irek A Makwarap Isha Aye. The ground turned to stone, but the world is still alive. You know, we're in the midst of all this urbanity. We got to make sense of our worlds. And it is urban, the ground is stone. And no matter what, you know, you can never separate us from this place either. We're doing what we can, you know, with what we have available. And so sometimes that means creating a cafe space in the back of a bookstore. So everybody knows what our menu is today. To start off, we have a rose hip tea and an elderberry tea, a native green salad, and a dressing of walnut oil and blackberry juice. We have soft boiled quail eggs, acorn soup, one of them with wildflower honey, one of them is left unsweetened, acorn flour brownies. We have venison that's currently being smoked with bay laurel and bay salt from San Francisco Bay shoreline. So a coit. Welcome. <laughs> uh, ne samakama. Now let's eat. Cafe Ohlone by Makam Ham is in this tucked away back patio here at University Press Bookstore. We're across the street from UC Berkeley, surrounded by all of this activity. Lewis and myself started Mak Amham, which in Chochenyo language, it means our food. It's an organization that we started in order to return our traditional Ohlone foods to our families who haven't experienced them in at least two generations. This very place right here could be where our direct ancestors gathered 400 or 500 years ago. And when we're gathering these, these plants again, it's just getting back into that groove of, of how our people have always done it. This is bay laurel. In our language, we call this sokoti. In Rumson, sokoch. So right here, this is the charishmin in Chochenyo, Charishim in Ramsin, which is the Yerba Buena. This is a herb that we make into a tea. It's that quintessential taste of home. When I started working there at Mission Dolores, I really did the most that I could to talk about our strength, our survival, our perseverance, and our continuity as well. Eventually, it just reached a boiling point for me where I realized you know, my time here on Earth can be spent reversing what the mission has done to us. And instead of just talking about those things, this work that we're doing, it's like defying gravity because we're moving against what was supposed to happen. in this society right now that's always getting things in an instant, you know, getting food in an instant, you know, whatever we need. And in this like fast food, you know, world that we're living in, you know, slow foods is trying to buck that trend. And that means eating seasonally. People I don't think understand how decadent and how rich our diet is. You know, we always say that our food is inherently bougie, you know, <laughs> because it, just the ingredients on their own. This is a blackberry yerba buena bay laurel dipping sauce. And we will add a little bit of acorn flour to this to thicken it. This is the bay laurel we gathered yesterday. These are quail eggs, atush Texan in our language. These are going to be soft boiled for three minutes. And we're going to have roasted venison backstrap that's wrapped in yerba buena. We're going to have Lewis's acorn flour brownies which is something that we made to introduce acorn to our young people. We adapted a brownie recipe to include acorn flour and to use coconut oil rather than butter. You know, for me, I think that our contemporary foods that we're making are foods that, that our people would recognize because they're rooted in everything that's traditional. We don't cook with anything that's, that wasn't here in those pre-contact days. 
There is always room for creativity, but we also know that there's rules that we have to follow too. With those rules, that means that you know we have to be steadfast and and uh, making sure that we don't change things too much, because otherwise that changes the nature of what our food is.